Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric Ferris, your host. Like it or love it. Today, Apple releases their new iPad 3. One of the biggest features of this thing is the new Retina display, which features a 2048 by 1536 resolution. Now, this has a million times more the pixels than a standard HD TV. Very, very cool stuff. Let's take a look at this thing now. Right off the bat, we can see that the new iPad 3 has a 9.7 inch screen. It weighs in at 1.4 pounds and is 0.37 inches thick. Now, the really cool thing about this is that it's going to be running Apple's iOS 5.1, and it'll be running on an A5X chip with features quad-core graphics. This is still a dual-core chip, so it gets a little confusing here because it's a dual-core chip with quad-core graphics. This also enables the iPad 3 to have four times the performance of previous generations. The iSight camera on the iPad 3 has the optical system of the iPhone 4S. This is a 5 megapixel camera that features a 5 lens feature. Now, this thing also can take movies in 1080p. And another good thing about it is if you want to do vocal dictation, there's a little button on the bottom of the iPad 3 that you click onto and you can voice your dictation right onto it and your text appears on the screen. This is some pretty cool shit. Also included with the iPad 3 is 4G LTE support, as well as Bluetooth support and personal hotspot. This thing still packs 10 hours of battery life, so it should last pretty long while you're out bouncing around. Though it does drop to 9 hours if you use the 4G technology. So check it out. The new 4G versions are as follows. There'll be three of them, and you'll be able to pick these up on March 16th. We have the 16 gigabyte coming in at $629, the 32 gigabyte coming in at $729, and lastly, the 64 gigabyte model at $829. So you have them ranging to just over $500 to all the way up to a thousand. So you guys have seen it, lots of great features on this thing. I will say that at the moment, there's a lot of controversy going on with Apple. People are complaining that the workers over in China are being treated totally bad by the people at Apple. If you really wanna protest this and you believe that, you have the choice of not buying this. However, me personally, I feel it's the government's fault. I think a lot of you probably feel the same way. We know goes on here it's not the problem of us the people it's the problem of the government so that said folks you guys all know what it is you guys have seen the features we've showed you the price for those out there who are waiting for march 16th to come around if you like the apple products you're going to be some lucky mother see you later